In this video, I will show you how to create a bootable USB drive for an old Mac operating system on your new Mac using a simple copy and paste method. So no more complicated setups or the need to download third party apps. Just a simple process that is compatible with all macOS version and Apple computers. So it means whether you have an Apple Silicon Mac or an Intel Mac, you will be able to create a bootable USB drive for an older macOS directly from a PKG file. Let me show you how. First we download an older macOS installer from Apple website. For the demo, I am downloading macOS Sierra. But you can follow the same steps for any macOS version you need. After downloading the macOS installer, plug your USB drive into your Mac. Your USB drive must be at least 8GB. Make sure to use an empty USB drive or backup all the data on it, as this process will erase the content of the USB drive. When you are ready, open your Disk Utility app. First, go to the View menu and select Show All Devices. Select the top level of your USB drive and click on Erase button. In the Name section, enter My Volume. From the Format drop-down menu, choose macOS Extended Journal. Ensure that the partition scheme is set to Git. Everything is OK. Hit the Erase button. After erasing, close the Disk Utility app. Now mount the macOS installer. Next, open your terminal application. Don't worry, nothing complicated here. You just need to copy and paste a few commands and that's all. Copy the first terminal command from the video description and paste it into your terminal app. Then hit the enter key. This command will expand the macOS package into a temporary directory. Before copying the second command, I will eject the mounted volume to free up resources. Now we need to navigate to the expanded directory. So I will copy the second command and paste it into the terminal app. We are now in the extended directory. Next, we need to attach the base system file to our USB drive. So I will first copy the third command to attach the base system and then I will copy the fourth command to restore it. We have successfully restored the macOS Sierra base system onto our USB drive, making it a bootable device. However, this USB drive is not fully offline. With this drive, you can boot your Mac into macOS utilities, but you will need to download additional components from the internet to complete the installation. What we need is a fully offline bootable USB drive. So we will need to copy and paste some additional terminal commands. First, rename the USB drive for clarity. So copy and paste the fifth command. The following commands will remove and copy the necessary installation packages to our USB drive. So please copy and paste these commands exactly as they are. After installing the necessary packages, detach the ESD volume. Next, bless the system folder to make it bootable. The following command will copy the volume icon from the original installer for visual identification. Now return to the home directory and remove any temporary files. And that's it, our USB drive is ready to use.
Before using it, I would like to change the drive icon as well. Let's check the drive. As you can see, the USB drive is working perfectly and I can now use it to install macOS Sierra. If you want to create a bootable USB drive for macOS X LKP10 or an earlier version, be sure to check the video description. If this video helped you, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.